Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we are doing Hulk vs Ultron in standard difficulty. Uh, so, I'm changing it up a bit. I am now going to be using an aggression deck by Villain Theory. Uh, the link will be in the description again, because uh, I figure with Ultron, we just need to take him down as quickly as possible. Uh, so, the setup, we need to put the Ultron drones environment into play, which we've done, which will... Uh, give all drone minions a scheme of one, attack of one, base hit point of one. And we'll advance to stage 1B. And when revealed, each player puts the top card in the deck and top card of the deck into play, engage them as a drone minion. Okay, so we'll draw up to our five hand size. We have a skilled strike, a movable object, hand cannon, thunderclap. And a crushing blow. Okay. All right. We'll use our experimental to draw a card and discard a card. Well, yep, all right, we'll discard a removal object, flip up to Hulk. We will discard a thunderclap. For a crushing blow, we deal damage to an enemy equal to our attack. We'll deal three damage to Ultron. We'll then spend two to put in a hand cannon, which is restricted. Comes in with three counters. Uh, when your hero makes a basic attack, you can exhaust the hand cannon to remove one charge counter from it, get plus two to the attack, and it gets overkill. We will do that. Oh, okay, and everyone say hello to Mixie, my cat, who's decided to interrupt. Come on, move along. It's all right. So we're going to attack the five plus overkill. So one plus four goes on to Ultron, taking him down to 10. We're ready up. Draw a hand size of four. So we've got an unstoppable force, spanners, laboratory, suborbital relief, and limitless stamina. One threat will go on the main scheme. Ultron's going to attack. We will take it. So two plus deal one damage to each character control. So we'll take a total of three damage. And after he attacks us, we get drone minion. Or we can, that's fine. We'll take the drone minion and he'll attack us for one. Encounter card. Ultra attacks you. Discard top card of your deck for each damage dealt by this attack. All right, so he's attacking us again for two. Just two. Discard two cards. And we'll take another drone minion. Okay. We will attack using our hand cannon, five and overkill. Deal another four damage to Ultron. Taking him down to seven. All 
We are basically going to ready Hulk or ready Hulk. We will spend two physical to ready Hulk so we can draw a card. Just going to counterattack. Spend one resource to put the counterattack into play, which allows us after we take damage from enemy, we can discard counterattack to deal an equal amount of damage to the enemy. We'll then attack for three on Ultron, taking him down to four. We'll ready up. Draw four cards. Another hand cannon, power of aggression, a drop kick, and another drop kick. Right, villain's turn, one throughout in the main scheme. Ultron's attacking, we will take it. The two, plus two is four. We will use our counter attack to knock Ultron to the next stage. He comes in with 22 health. And now when he attacks us, we put the top card of our deck into play face down, engage with you as a drone minion. Um, so I guess technically, because that happened, he can't do the stage one effect and put a drone minion to play against us, because it's going to happen at the start. Uh, okay, so then this drone minion is going to hit us for one. Encounter card. Each player puts top card of the deck of play, engage them as a drone minion. All right. We will spend three physical resources to do a drop kick. Deal four damage to an enemy if paid using only physical resources. Uh, stun that enemy. So four damage on Ultron. And he is he is stunned. I uh, will then use our last hand cannon. Deal five damage of overkill. One and four onto Ultron. Taking him down to 14. Throw away our drop kick. Ready up. Skilled strike. A Hulk smash. Limitless stamina. And unstoppable force. One threat goes on to the Crimson Cow. Which will push us to stage 2A. When revealed, each player puts the top card of the deck into play. Face down, engage with them as a drone minion. Advance to 2B, which is now after placing a threat here during step one of the villain phase, each player uh, must choose to either place two threat here or put top card of the deck engage them. I believe we're still in the response window for this, so we are just going to put two threat on here. Ultron would go to attack, but he's stunned. And then each of these minions hit us for one each. Then our encounter card. All right, so the drones are getting upgraded. So attach the Ultron drones environment. Each face down drone minion gets plus one attack and plus one hit point, and we can spend one of each resource to get rid of it. But what we're gonna do, is so we're just gonna spend three physical resources to Hulk smash for 13. Taking Ultron down to one. Then we're gonna flip down and just hopefully get through the next round and, and finish him off. So we're ready up. We'll draw five cards. Limitless strength, plan B, limitless strength, strength, and suborbital leap. Okay, villain's turn, one threat on the main scheme. Uh, after placing threat here, we can either place two threat here or put a drone minion. We'll put a drone minion. Okay, uh, Ultron's going to scheme for two plus one, and he heals one damage for each drone minion engaged with us. That's not great. 
So goes up to four. We get three threat on here. And then we get another three threat through these guys. Taking that to nine out of ten. The counter card. Each drone minion engage with you here attacks. If no attacks are made this way, put the top, top card of your deck engage with you as a drone minion. All right. We're going to flip up. We're going to use our strength to put in a plan B. We'll exhaust plan B and discard one random card from our hand to deal two damage to an enemy. Sell limit strength to deal two damage to Ultron. And then we'll just swing for three to defeat Ultron. There we have it. Hulk just smashed puny Ultron. Uh, once again, Hulk's strongest one there is. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. I was moving through that pretty quickly with the whole rush strategy. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.